here with Julia Alessandrini. Julia, can you tell us a little bit more about your sculpture? Uh, well, this sculpture is uh, quite different from the sort of thing I normally do. I often work in concrete and acrylic and steel, and I decided this time to do something that commented a bit more on um, art history. So, uh, because this year the sculpture walk has moved out into the park, I thought I'd have a look into ideas behind parks and landscape and then that led me to landscape painting which then brought me to this which is commonly known as Alberti's window or Alberti's veil and it's a machine that was used around about the Renaissance to help people draw landscapes. Do you consider the surrounding areas, the area that you've been given when you created the work? that's where it all begins and it's where it all ends so um, that's why I often change the medium and the media that I use so I might paint or I might uh, make something out of clay or I might make something out of glass or I may photograph something um, in this case it's turned out to be an actual installation work and this hopefully will um, provide an opportunity for people to see the park in a different way to the way they normally engage with it. Julia how long did it take to create this sculpture you've done here? The idea took a very long time <laughs> and because it's public art in a public place of course you have to consider all sorts of things like public liability and vandalism and uh, safety and things like that. How did that affect your conception of the work? I've never had to deal with that before and I found that quite difficult because I, I wasn't aware just how careful you had to be and so that was the most difficult thing for me this time. But it's been made to encourage the people and general public to come in and use it. So there will be a, something to, a cushion to sit on, there will be paper and charcoals and pencils and drawing implements to use so people are actually invited yeah. into the park to use the artwork, to, to experience the park in a different way. As much as anything because a park is a public place mm -hmm. but also because I, I feel personally that um, art is often quite exclusive and doesn't go far enough to include the public and the viewer and I wanted to make a particular effort to include the viewer in this work. I'm here with Jan Rees, one of our returning artists from last